Yes, Mr. Seconds out. Here we go, first contest of the evening here on Before the Bell. And the second fight for the very talented Emmanuel Odiaza from Germany. One win, one knockout. He looked very good, Barry. Yeah, he's a nice relaxed style, a nice fast jab. Doesn't overcommit either, that's what I like. Right? He has a lot of long reach, he uses that range really well, just peppers with the jab, forcing you to come forward, then he can line you to a nice strong right hand. Very accurate, very fast. A nice rhythm to his boxing. 36 amateur fights, he was a German champion, boxed abroad, some international tournaments, won the Eindhoven Cup. Like I say, he's enjoyed every second of this during fight week. Getting straight down to business here on the front foot. I would say, you know, it's just warming up to it at the minute, but I would say he's just cuffing up, he's just hitting with the fingers of the gloves. And he's just, he just trying to, you know, trying to test what had to hear, just trying to see where, where the opening is, how he reacts to certain shots, but just like to see him turn the handle when he throws that little left hook. Yep, controlling the, the space and distance. Yeah, but I see what you're saying there, Barry. Again there, see that? No, yeah. He's getting on the guard, which is the right thing to do, getting on that, that high guard. He just taps a bit with the finger, he just turns him the front knuckle. Still, still, still throw the same angle shot, just turn the front knuckle over a little bit, and it's so much more dy dynamic. Yeah, you can see straight away the, the amateur style in him, very patient. You can see the way he sort of uses the range with the lead hand really, really well. He's actually a, a footballer when he was younger. I think his older brother took him to the gym when he was 15 and never looked back. And some top class sparring. He's been in there with literally all of them. He sparred with AJ, Usyk, Wilder, White, Chisora, Cabial. So Barry, a wolf. Of experience there yeah, in the gym. You can see that not only you know, the experience there, the confidence just to take the cent take the center of the ring, work behind that jab really well. And just stand you know, as he's warmed up into the round, just let his punches go a little bit more fluently here. But everything's smooth, he doesn't load up on anything, you know, it's all all body mechanics, he's turning from the waist when he throws that, that right hand. Yeah, good variation as well, Barry, like you say. Good arsenal of shots. I like the patient approach. Doesn't rush anything. So easy for some of these young guys to want to impress. They all want to, and you can end up making some silly mistakes. But we're not seeing that with body as I controlling everything, Barry. Yeah, but I gotta say, you know, and he is. But I gotta say that left into the body there, just again, a little bit with the fingers. If you just again, just turns the shoulder into the shot and uses those the front knuckle as the, as the weapon around those fingers, then that, that punch is twice as dynamic. Well, dominant round from Emmanuel Odoaza. Went to round two, we go. Emmanuel of the Aza in with Ami Bosetta. And I am very pleased to say myself and Barry are joined by the newly retired, the legend, the gorilla, Mr. John Ryder. John, how are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me here. Oh, pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Well, it's been a whirlwind for you, John. Mate, it's been a, um, a crazy couple of weeks and a, a crazy 13 and a half years. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure watching it all. We'll chat about your career in a bit, John. But let's get back to this one. Manuel Odaaza. But, but he's, he's found this range, though, hasn't he? Yeah. Odaaza. So this is where he needs to start. You know, just inflicting a little bit more pain now. He can step behind that jab a little bit more. Just get a bit more weight in his shots. He's got the range perfectly here. He's got the man where he wants him. 
he has, he's touched the target a few times to see see any reactions, and there, there aren't many to be fair. So now I feel like we can just start to increase the, the pace a little bit like that. Yeah, and he's starting to plant his feet a little bit more, put a bit more venom in the shots. The feet are good actually, because they he, are. Because he's relatively light on his feet. Just see a little bit there. He threw a, a couple of shots. So there you go. He bounces back just to have a little look before he engages again. John, I think you. I've heard you're going to put your hand to coaching, watching Odiaza here. Anything you'd like to see him do a bit more on? No, man, so far, I think he's a bit of a dream to watch. He's, he's relaxed, he, he's mixed up the power, he's touching, he's creating openings. The footwork's lovely, he's not forced nothing. He's just uh, he's mixed up the variations of power, and I think it's, uh, it's nice to watch. Yeah, I think it's so important, I think, for these days. You can't just be a big heavyweight now. You've got to you've got to show all sorts. You've got to be nimble on your feet, Barry. We talk about footwork all the time, and we're seeing that, like John says, with Odiaza. Yeah, you know, he hasn't had to show much of it, but you can see Again, he has a little bit of bounce to his step. You know, a, a fight like this, he's just got to you know, steal, you know, dominate the space and bully him back into the coin, which he's doing. But what he's, do, what he's not doing, which is good, he's not smothering his work. He's not getting too close. When he, when he does move up with that right hand a little bit, he's not. He's using. The, he's turning from the waist rather than step into the shot too much and get too close to, to allow the opponent to hold or fire back. Yeah, Bosetta not offering anything here. Like I say, watching. His fights in the past, he does tend to try and survive, move and frustrate his opponents. And you're seeing that to a degree here. Odiazza just smothering his work a little bit here. If you're going to lean on the chest of your opponent, the feet, you're better I, off. I, I think in any other weight division, I think he is doing the wrong thing. But in the heavyweight division, when you're much bigger than the guy, you lean that weight. When you lean on the opponent, that's a tiring process. So that the ref, Bob Williams, no, he's not giving a count. It was, I think, a case of what you just said there, Barry. Just lean in on Bussetta. Again, another dominant round from Modiaza. Putting his foot on the gas here, getting to work. Looking good, another good round from the German. and relaxed jumbo in the corner familiar Quality, face clean, at the shows in this part of the world taking on i always like to see this barrier john is a young fighter looking at the coaches and taking in all the instructions yeah well in this stage of it's important to know you to because you, whatever you're doing in the gym has to be replicated in the ring. So you're listening to what they say. They're doing the right thing. You, know, you just do this, do that. You have to remember what you're doing in the gym. Just go, this is what we did. Do it again. Yeah, just a second. I absorb it all, what they're saying. And sometimes it's a matter of millimetres. So I'll just observe what's being said to you and uh, make the necessary changes. When the round three we go. Brilliant start from Emmanuel Odiaza. We've seen a bit of everything. Good ring IQ, boxing nicely, quick hands, good variety with the shots. Nice little feint there, trying to get Bussetta to lead, but he doesn't take the bait. I've been impressed so far. Like I say, he's part of AJ's 258 management team and says he's got a really good relationship with AJ. He's nope. there, he's a mentor, Barry. Sorry, that was good there. Just a little, little feint before he threw the jab. Again, did again there. That was a nice chopping right hand there. He was lucky there, Bruschetto. He fell short of the shot and got caught with a counter right hand. Just starting to slowly up the tempo, John. Yeah, I'd like to see a really step on it this round. I think he's, um, he's, he's got the beating of him this round. He just needs to force the pace a bit and, and put the shots together more. And because he doesn't, he doesn't get too close to the target, he punches long and keeps it long when he throws the shot. You can let his punches go. He doesn't have to be too clever. Three or four straight shots right on the line. That'll back him up. You know, you've got good footwork and it means he can steal the space so cleverly without getting too close. He made some last minute adjustments like really, really well. He went to throw the hook there and just stopped it and just went with a jab. It's just good maturity. Too, what a great time as well to, to be a young heavyweight. You know, some of the older guard are coming to the end of their careers. The division's going to want to start looking for new stars. And when you've got the talent that he has, it's got to be very exciting. 
Yeah, well, cuts some great time because they've still got a couple of years left, haven't they? And he's got a few more years to develop, of course. It's still a, who knows where he's going to end up? That's the, that's the exciting part of any guy that turns professional. You don't know where you're going to end up. Look at John. Look at the, 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 you're the Mexico with the box Canelo. You never saw that when you turned pro, would you? No, no, no. It's, it's, it. it's not about where you start, it's about where you end up. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't mind being a pound note behind John Ryder, would you? Or Darren Barker, that's for sure. Back to this one now again, Odiaza in front of Bassetta, sitting in the pocket now, letting the shots go. Credit to Bassetta, he's not moving as much as I say that, he steps back, but the hands are high, he's trying to throw the odd shot back. I think that may suit Odiaza, may create further openings, but I've been very impressed with Odiaza. Just a double jab right hand, that's all. Stab the first jab really has, which stops him in his track. In the, then the second one, and just gives you a bit of rhythm for that right hand on the middle. Yeah, doing the right thing. I like to see him drop these body shots immediately after the head shots. Yeah, I think a bit longer with a, with a head shot, a bit more around the guard, and then yeah. drop it to the body. Another very good round for the German, Emmanuel Odiaza. Now, I'll dry him then with Vazin, yeah? Okay. Otherwise, we'll get wet Vazin his eyes. Vazin, I'm going to go to the front. 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 I'm going Another dominant round, like I say, from Emmanuel on the Azar. Looking very good here at the in the go at the 0-2. Promises to be a cracking night of boxing. Topped here by Reese Bellotti and Liam Dillon, the British and Commonwealth titles. Back to this one for... Uh, Round four of the sixth rounder. On the other, as we've seen him throughout this contest on the front foot, piercing jab, looking for the right hand over the top. That's a lovely jab. Yeah, and he, he, there's no effort in it either. He, he doesn't put lots of weight behind, but it's, but it's a jarring shot, isn't it? Make sure he gets the shoulder into it. Yeah, he's only been stopped twice. Bosetta, one of those stoppages come from, like I say, at the top of this contest, Moses the Tauma, but wow, I mean, what talent he is. Yeah, and Moses throws from so many different angles. He does. Well. Yeah, so but to stop a guy like this, I think it's got to be volume of shots. Yeah, like you said, John, just go through the gear, up the tempo, put your foot on the gas. Yeah, I think it'll be more of an accumulation of shots, whereas you're not going to get him out of a, of a single. Yeah, I'm beating 13 and 0. Tommy Welch outpointed him. Scotland, Scott Forrest also beat him on points. So he is a tough man. You can see why in there now. Look, just throwing an arc in overhand right. Just a reminder to Odiaza not to get complacent. Stay switched on. It does, certainly in this division, only take a split second and completely derail your career. But again, she see how oh, the asset didn't do a lot, but just moved back half an inch pretty much, and that just, just stopped all the momentum there. And after the step back, it was that little creep to the right. Yeah. There's a tiny little step to the right, and that got him back in the centre of the ring. I think he's very textbook. There's a lot of the stuff he does and the, the real, real natural ability. Yeah, like I say, 36 fights as an amateur, good pedigree. And you're seeing that in there. Switch a stance yeah. here. Trying something new. Variation with that. Southpaw knee jabs, stabbing it into the body. He's not taking the bait though, Bassetta. Good workout so far. He's having it all his own way, but I think he's going to understand as he goes through the ranks. You're not going to stop everyone. You're going to have to work and look for your openings or as John says, you know, go through the gears, start plugging away. 
he seems pretty content to, to win on points, so he's not rushing nothing, he's not forcing nothing, it's all coming off off the jab nicely, and listen, modern-day modern boxing people are looking for the knockouts too much. Yeah, and, he's boxing, and again, he's sort of boxing within himself, and everything's nice and loose. Good technique, as you already said, John, you know, I think he is very textbook in what he, what he does. And he, and he, but he has stand out with some big right hands as the rounds have got. I think you know, the pace has increased. Like I say, tons and tons of top class sparring. AJ Usyk, Wild and White, Chisora Kabeal. John, I know you sparred with the who's who with the middleweight, super middleweight divisions. How much does that help your progression as a professional, that top class sparring? I think it is, it's invaluable. I think we've done tons around over the years. Um, and they, they just stand you in such good stead moving forward in your own career. Yeah, that was, uh, that was my cue there. That was, that was a bit of bait there to see you could mention me, John. <laughs> and I took it. <laughs> yeah, complete survival mode for this man here, Barry. Yeah, well, we know what we're going to get, and it's not, but it's not about him, is it? It's about what, how, how we can react to him and, and give oh, the answer some rounds or give him some problems. And he, look, he's giving him the rounds, he's not causing him any problems. And i got to think. That's, that's, that's all the essence of the ability. The, the, the fact that he's been able to keep it long, work the jab really well. The, the nice, the, the bases, the fundamentals, he's doing well, and they're working for him. The nice jab, the one two down the line. Just, I, I, I love you. Oh, my, my only real criticism would be he hits with the fingers. That's all. He just doesn't turn his hands over in his shots. And I think if he does that, some of the shots he's landed with tonight might have been finishing punches. Yep, yep. I've been very impressed. A couple of little things to work on, but an awful lot to work with. Like you say, there, there is an opportunity here to up the tempo, but as you say, John, looks pretty content just to, to cruise and not take any silly risks. I can understand that. Yeah, and I think at this stage of his career, it's smart, smart tactics, just get the rounds in, get the rounds under your belt, you're doing great preparation with all the people you're sparring with and whatnot, so getting the rounds in in the actual, in the actual field is, is good for him. Just trying the uppercut, and again, I think that shot is there for him. He's a shorter man, Bassetta. But he does keep them elbows tucked yeah. up well. You just see and, there, Barry. And he sits on that back foot a bit, so that sort of takes the uppercut the way a little bit, doesn't it? But you see there, now no, he's getting a bit tired. He's just starting to lean over that front knee a little bit more, as we see there. And that's where, especially with the fast feet there of Odia, so if he can take a little step back and whip that uppercut through the middle, it's a shot that might work for him. Good work, as he's back with Setter onto the ropes. A one-two left, Douglas for the right hand round the side. This is better, starting to go through the gears a bit here. Odia has had to switch it to Southpaw again, poking out the jab. Looking for that left hook from the Southpaw stance, just raising the tempo. Must have heard you, John. Yeah, I think we saw some some good work there. Um, we need more of the same, really. I think he's he's shown everything he's got. He's shown he's got a great arsenal, but we just need to see him go for the gears a bit more. Let's move into his left as he holds the centre of the ring. Odiaza. He's, he's a fluent sort of fighter, isn't he? So he's not really an explosive sort of fighter. So. You know, he wants to be light on his feet. I think if you come at him, he'll probably he'll spin you around and you know, pivot around the outside and throw combinations. Lovely. He's happy to sit inside. Some amateurs turning pro in the first few fights like to stay out of trouble. Don't really like to st sit in the pocket, but we're not seeing that with Odiaza. Happy to, to plant his feet, stand inside. Doesn't get flustered, doesn't panic. Nice little right hand there, more of an arm shot, but he felt that one Bassetta. This is good work again. And he felt it because it was the first time he turned his hand over. Funding right hook as well. This is good. Referee Bob Williams having a look, just edging a bit closer. He's unraveling slightly here, Bassetta. There's a smile on his face as he went back there. Bassetta. They're both smiling, though. I don't know who's enjoying it more. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Bassetta, he's been there, he's seen it all before. But he's under the cross here, taking some big shots. Again, looking for that finishing blow again. The referee having a look, but he survives the round, Bassetta. With a wink to the corner straight after. I think, <laughs> yeah. he's, I think he's happy, he's content. But there was a left hook there, and that last little comment is a left hook. Just wobbled him for the first time. He'd been knocked back a few times, but that left hook wobbled him. I think that was the one shot that really did hurt him there. Coming back to the, to the corner there in that round. It'd be interesting to see how, how he approaches this last round. Yeah, and he doesn't load up with the shots. And what I like about Diaz, he just put that shot there. It was just very accurate. Let's have a look at the shot. 
Just one or two on the forehead, Barry, and then comes round with the left to He tried to do a little, little Lomachenko there, wasn't he? Just hit the hand down to throw the throw the, the left hand there in the softball stance. But he got through with some shots at last and sustained the attack, didn't take a step back, tried to keep the pressure on. There's that left hook there, right? In the, right in the last hook, the left hook just wobbled him a little bit. And he tried to maintain the pace just maybe 10 seconds earlier. No, that might have been that might have been the finishing combination. Yeah, well spotted Barry. That was a good left hook high on the temple of Brissetto, kind of marching out for this final round, the sixth round here at the Indigo at the O2. It's been a very good display from the young German Emmanuel Odiaza, managed by AJ258. Very, very good boxer. Good right hand, lovely shot. Right through the centre of the guard there from Odiaza. How quickly do you think they'll, they'll want to push him forward? Or do you think they'll just keep on the range? He's a young man. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's a heavyweight. I think we've seen it with other heavyweights. You rush him too quick before they matured. And you, know, and, and you, and you get into the top there. There's, there's too many hard fights. I think you know, you, you've got the luxury of a heavyweight. You've got a longer lifespan. They don't take as many punches as we do. So they can, they can have a longer, a longer learning period. And like you say, I think timing could be absolutely perfect for Odiaza here with the other guys, a couple of years left in their careers, the other crop coming through, they'll be at the top end and it could all work out and pan out nicely for this young man. And we're seeing lots of good stuff from him, but we're also seeing stuff that he can work on and that's what you need in, in this career. You want to go back to the, and watch the fight back and go, could have done this better, could have done that better, but that was good, this was good. And, and I think we've seen that tonight. If you had to grade this performance, John, what would you give Body I, I think it's a very good performance. I think he's his skill set, he's he's shot selection, he's his power that the way he's changed out the power is great. I think in time for his career he'll probably bulk up a bit, sit down and he shots more. But I think he's a, a very good all round fire. Yeah, it'd be tough to beat. Always sit here and whenever you commentate, whenever you're watching boxing, always thinking about how you beat that fighter and there's not many weaknesses few ways that he delivers the shots like you said Barry and maybe an increase in tempo but he has done that in fairness in the last couple of rounds Bouchesa has shown toughness but yeah I have to say I've been very impressed with this young man no yeah it's been a really good I think it's been a mature performance he hasn't rushed his work you know, he probably could have gone through the gears a little bit more good right hand there from him probably could have gone through the gears a little bit more but ultimately you know, he hasn't burned out, he hasn't, he hasn't tied himself out, he's controlled the pace with good quality work. And on these last few rounds here, Johnny's just trying to increase it up, they're not trying to look for that, that stoppage for the first time. Yeah, I think he just needs to spread him hooks a bit longer as well, he seems to be throwing a single hook, if he doubled it up, he's, he seems to be aiming at the guard a lot, if he, uh, if he doubled the hook up, he might get through the second. Yeah, finishing the show in style, leaning on Bruchetta, but working well, the good Variation, the shot selection, like I say, he's been impressive. You see that faint, he's switching, he's enjoyed himself in there. And like I say, he entered the ring with a big smile, and no doubt he's going to be leaving with a big smile after a successful second outing as a professional. Here, like I say, in the Indigo at the O2, which promises to be banged out, noisy, loud, packed this evening. But shortly we're going to hear win number two. Roddy Azza, who boxed very, very well there, Barry. No, he did, he boxed really well. He came out, he was using the jab, he was a little bit like, he wasn't bouncing on his feet, but he was nice. He took the centre of the ring, that's the most important thing for a big heavyweight. But he was light down his feet, he was jabbing, fainting first through the jab, taking a little step back there, so one long pitch had any, any sort of, any sort of room to get a bit of success or momentum in his work. Did everything really well. And then I think the last few rounds, Eddie, he went, he tried to increase the pace, John, then he tried to look for the stoppage without going too gung-ho, and I thought it was a really mature display from him. Yeah, no, I think it was a great performance from Eddie Azza. Um, like you say, a mature performance, he, he showed his skill set, he, he barely got out of second gear at times, and um, he, he looked to close the show at the end, but it just left it too late. Yeah, but my only criticism, and I think it's a genuine thing that he can work on, is he doesn't turn his hands over with the shots. Yeah, I agree, and I just think in time that will probably it, 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 I suppose he's like that growth mindset with working with AJ that he'll he'll listen to AJ's advice, he'll take it on board and he'll, and he'll learn from this. Yeah, he'll learn for sure. Very, very good talented fighter, good personality. He's an absolute unit, you must say as well. Lot lot to work with for this young man. A future star of the division, no doubt. 
As we just wait for Busetta to remove his right glove. And we can hear the verdict from our MC from the, for the evening, sorry, Mr. David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at the Indigo at the O2 Arena, we go to referee Bob Williams' scorecard. It reads 60 to 54 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Emmanuel Odiaza. Yeah, Odiaza goes to two and those, a professional look very, very good there against Omin Bossetta. And if you needed any reminding, I'm sure you don't, there is a big matter of the Super Bowl this week.